interaction among systems is a kind of a homostasis between whole body organs and whole body systems. Um, systems may uh, interact to maintain homostasis. Uh, it can be like we said in the earlier video, the little water going in and out of a cell, but now we're, at, we're working at a bigger level where we have body systems like respiratory, um, uh, digestive, um, excretory systems working together to maintain uh, the homostasis of the body. Each organ system affects other organ systems. If you hold your breath, uh, the reason that you have to continue to breathe uh, and forcefully is your brain, which controls the muscles, does that. But also, you could be damaging, um, if you did that a lot, uh, organ systems would start to have a lesser um, oxygen flow than they really should, and that could cause damage. So they can all interact with each other. The circulatory system, if it's not flowing, properly. Uh, you may be breathing properly, but then the oxygen is not getting around like it should, so you have oxygen deficiency. Organ system does a specific job, respiratory, digestive, excretory, integumentary, all of those systems do a certain specific job. So like, like the race car team that gets that car in the few seconds it makes its pit stop, they all do their own thing and they all have to be kind of working in, uh, in harmony and uh, in sync to get that car out of there as fast as possible. The analogy is to keep the body in a uh, homostasis balance um, as quickly and best as possible because that's the way our chemical reactions of life work at the highest most effective levels. Organ systems also work together to keep the organism healthy. Uh, for example, uh, organ systems, how some organ systems works to produce vitamin D, which makes strong bones. Um, thermal regulation maintains a homo, uh, I mean, a, a steady body temperature. Again, we talked about that in the previous video. Uh, too hot, too cold uh, is not good. Hypothermic, hyperthermic, both of those can be fatal. Here we have an example where UV light, sunlight hits our skin, um, that the skin absorbs the UV light. Uh, with that, that energy, it helps uh, the body to produce vitamin D. So is too much sitting out in the sun is bad for you, but some exposure to light, you know, sunlight is good. It helps to increase your vitamin D level. But then the, that causes the liver, uh, the liver to produce inactive vitamin D, which is a good step in the right direction, but it's not useful. Then the kidneys will take that inactive vitamin D and change it to active vitamin D. And then in the bone marrow, the active vitamin D is used to um, strengthen the, uh, the bones. As you, if you run a lot or do something repetitively, anything, anything you do causes stress on the bones and stress on the bones will cause a, a slight thickening of that bone if it gets used over and over. So it's a, again a feedback mechanism. A disruption of homostasis, again, like any time, can be harmful. Uh, can be disrupted for several reasons. Uh, sensors fail somehow. You're you're not able to detect temperature of your skin or something. Uh, targets do not receive the message. It's the sensors get it and they send the message out, but because of nerve damage or something, they're not getting it. Um, injury, illness, um, short term term disruption causes little or no harm, like holding your breath until you have to breathe, or even like not getting a lot of sunlight for vitamin D, or uh, uh, maybe your blood sugars are out of whack for a little bit, but long term can cause a lot more damage. Diabetes is one of these diseases that's a serious long term dis disruption of homostasis, of balance, blood sugar balance. And you've got um, pancre pancreas cells uh, attacked, or they're damaged, or they don't work properly, and insulin production, that's where insulin is, is produced in the pancreas, it declines. So if insulin declines as you eat normally, you take in sugar, <coughs> your blood sugar glucose levels rise, which they shouldn't rise above a certain point. If they get too high, the insulin changes the glucose into glycogen because too much glucose is kind of bad for your cells. So and if, that, if they continue to rise, the body burns fat, blood becomes more acidic, um, and then this acidic bl blood can 
um, the cells are impaired and organs are damaged. Uh, uh, a co common old old school um, long term result of diabetes was sometimes people would have to have their outer limbs amputated because they would start to that's the area where the blood flow was the worst also eyesight you have a lot of blood flow in your retina if your blood flow is is acidic and is is, is compromised because of diabetes people would become blind so these are all and and just in general people that were diabetics didn't live as long on average as people who weren't another thing that to think about when you're talking about systems is just aging general aging causes these homostatic systems to start to decline all of the chemical reactions of life in your body including the ones that that maintain homostasis start to decline as you get older your body kind of just wears out and um, while most of the time people uh, die of some disease that overtakes them um, many times that disease is allowed to overtake them because their body is not as able to fight it off you get a pneumonia or you get a, a flu and you can't fight it off as well as you could when you were younger and more vibrant and eventually that takes its toll and you pass away that's why a lot of these uh, diseases these vaccines are especially important for people who are real young because babies and young children haven't gotten their immune systems all the way up to speed and the old elderly who some immune systems and body systems are, are starting to decline and so we want to make sure that whatever uh, regimen of flu is going to come around that that year um, across the country across the world that the elderly and the young get flu shots before the the normal healthy people although they can get their shots too but that's why they emphasize the young and the old for flu shots because of the decrease in chemical reactions of life and the disruption of homostasis in older people.